this video guys i'm going to show you some best settings for your pc to boosting the performance of your pc in this new chapter 3 season 2 of the fortnite and by doing it you can get more performance out of your every component of your pc so make sure to watch my this whole video so let's go straight into this video so guys first of all the most important thing you need to download this fortnite chapter 3 season 2 fps boost pack this is completely a new pack and help you a lot to boosting or increasing your PC performance for the Fortnite specially. So guys, before using or downloading this boost pack, make sure to create a restore point on your PC. It is really simple to creating a restore point. Go straight to this Windows search, type here restore or simply search here create a restore and guys here you will find out create a restore point option. Click here on this option, you need to go straight into this configurations, make sure to turn it on and set it on to the five or the seven person now hit apply and click ok go for this option which is the create one and name it anything for creating a restore point this is guys just for the security purpose because anything guys wrong with your pc therefore you can easily revert all of that pack so guys now you need to download this boost pack on your pc link given in the descriptions down there so you need to open that link from descriptions and that will take you directly here onto my this website you will also find out this post in the first location and guys if somehow th if you are watching this video after few days so guys you need to go straight to this chapter 3 pack sections and here you will find out this first post open up this post scroll all the way down click on this download button and download this pack on your pc once you got this pack here on your pc now you need to simply open up this pack drag this folder here on your desktop using any winrar or the zip file software once you got it you need to open up this folder and guys there is a bunch of file first one for deleting all of the previous cache data or the useless files of our fortnite next the registry files window optimization some program and some best resolution for your fortnite so first open up this option which is the delete temporary and the useless file because we are going to delete all of the previous cache and the previous log and temporary file from our pc so you need to double click here and open up the cmd file here it will take some time to uninstalling or deleting all of this unused file go for this next step until so you need to double click here on this next file and it will just take a second and guys here we done now you need to press any key from your keyboard open up this previous one the cmd it is still running so guys don't worry now open up this third application which is the disk cleanup double click here now select out the drive where you have installed your fortnite so i have installed in my c drive click ok and here it will calculate some data of your windows once it's completed you need to simply guys check mark here on the windows update cleanup and also scroll all the way down here is the direct text shadow cache also check mark here scroll all the way down check mark onto the also temporary file and temporary windows installation file also check mark this one now click ok delete all of this file from your pc it will guys take some time to cleaning up this file and also we are gonna check out over the cmd file and guys it is still running so guys you need to keep this running in your background until it's not completed so guys let's go for our next step now you need to open up the second folder which is the reg file open up this folder it is bunch of registry files for your cpu for your gpu for your memory for your network for every component of your pc for the optimization so you need to open up this first file click yes click ok and install all of these files one by one on your pc so guys once you install all of these files on your pc now you need to go back into the main directory of your boost pack and here is our third folder which is the windows optimizations file so open up this file here's guys all of the best optimization settings for your windows and some registry files for optimizing it so you need to first of all open up this background app sections and make sure to guys turn off all of the background application which is running in your background this will not delete this application it will just turn it off or disable it therefore it's not run in your background while you're playing your fortnite or any other game so guys here is this button you need to turn it off and this will disable all of these guys background application of your windows now close out the settings go for this next option which is the disable fso click yes click ok here is the game mode make sure guys turn on the game mode on your pc but also guys i also recommend you to guys update your windows onto the latest version if you have a latest version then use the game mode on your pc so once you do it now go for this next which is the lower latency dot bad file this is actually the cmd file so you need to double click here here we're done now go for the prevent unnecessary app actually this is a startup application disabling click yes click ok here is the system property performance open up this one 
and uh, now you need to go for this option which is the adjust for the best performance by the way guys i am recording my video and i'm a content creator so therefore i'm going with this option which is the let windows choose what best for the computer which is best for the appearance of the windows but if you are full-time a gamer so i suggest you to go with just for the best performance then hit apply and click ok once you do it now go for the next which is the windows 10 disable automatic app update this is the most important option disable this one here is windows 10 telemetry disable double click here here is windows 10 unaccessible services also double click here and here we are done now let's take a look on this file and it is guys still cleaning up this stuff go for this one and it is also guys running you need to guys keep it running don't close this one because this will delete all of the unused temporary data or the viruses from your pc now let's go for our fourth option which is the programs folder open up this folder it is two folder first one is the uh, park controller and this is the latest version of the park controller for increasing the performance of your pc of your cpu especially so you need to double click here click ok and simply install the software on your pc once you install the software you will get this kind of interface on your screen you need to guys click on this drop down select out with some high performance make it activate disable all of this option from here but also set the slider onto the 100 percent once you do hit apply now check mark on the bitsum dynamic boost enable click on the bitsum high boost click ok and click ok again this software guys actually activate your all of the core of your cpu therefore you can get more performance out of your cpu for the fortnite so guys now let's go for our next software which is the run with the affinity and actually this help your pc to run the fortnite with maximum potential of your every component so therefore open up the software you not need to install it click on the three dots now you need to go straight to where the directory where you have installed your fortnite by default it is the c drive go in your local xc program file epic game fortnite fortnite game binary with 64 and here you will find all of these files now you need to select this first file click on this open button and here it will add your fortnite now click on this drop down select the maximum number of processor and if you have a low end pc so guys you need to always go with the less one number like i have the eight core so i will go with the seven if you have four so you need to go with the three therefore you not get any kind of any kind of fps drops and the stutters so once you're done now here is the shortcut you can also directly guys run the program but i suggest you to guys create a shortcut on your desktop so guys here is also option for the run so you need to also go with the maximize because you need the maximum performance now click on this run program or you can also click on the create shortcut and this will automatically guys create a shortcut on your desktop now once you're done now you need to simply close out this program go back into the main directory and here open up this last folder which is the best registry which is the best resolutions for your fortnite into this new chapter 3 season 2 and guys here is couple of files which is the high end low end and the mid end so you need to guys use it according to guys your pc build like for example if you have a very low end pc so you need to open up this folder right click here click on this copy button go straight to the search icon and search for the run press enter now type your app data press enter Go for this local Fortnite game, save config Windows client, paste it here and place your file destinations. Once you are done, now you need to simply close out it. Close out your this window. And guys, now you need to simply also close out over this boost pack. Guys, here it is still running in your background, so guys, don't worry. Now you need to simply close out it. And also over this cleanup is complete, and that is guys automatically guys now turn off. So now here is some additional guys optimizations for your windows and for your game and guys it is also help you to get more around 40 to 50 fps if you follow it properly now you need to go straight toward that directory where you have installed your fortnite like i already told you i installed in my c drive program files epic games fortnite fortnite games binary with 64 scroll all the way down right click here on this first exe file go for the properties compatibility sections Make sure to check mark here onto this option if you are getting any kind of the guys error in your game otherwise i will not suggest you to guys use this option uncheck this box go for the display full screen optimizations uncheck these two boxes go for the change high dpi settings check mark here on the override high dpi scaling behavior click ok hit apply and click ok and you need to also do all of the settings for your all these fortnite exe files once you're done now you need to simply close out this folder right click here go straight toward the display settings 
scroll all the way down click on the graphic settings and guys here you need to turn on this option first of all if it is available here in the settings on your pc now go for this browse option now again go into the c drive locate out your fortnite directory which you have installed it and select out the first exe file of the fortnite once you add that fortnite here click here go for the option and set it onto the high performance of your gpu now hit apply and close out the settings once you are done now you need to guys set your cpu for the max potential from your windows settings so you need to go into the search icon and search for ms config press enter here this window will pop up on your screen you need to go into this boot sections click on advanced options check mark on this number and select out the maximum number of processor or the thread of your cpu now click ok hit apply and click ok once you're done with all of the settings so guys now you need to simply restart your pc one time because all of the changes which we have done on our pc of registries that will guys take effect after once you restart then guys you need to simply launch your fortnite by using this icon which we just created with our software and then you will get max potential of your every component of your pc for the fortnite chapter 3 season 2 so guys i hope so you love it so please make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification leave a like on this video and also share your opinion about this optimizations guide in the comment sections so till at the next video peace out